I have the privilege of introducing to you somebody who uh, I, I have witnessed. God has breathed his breath through him and dry bones have risen. His ministry has transformed lives and families and communities and now is transforming a nation. Uh, please welcome Love More Zulu. I understand that you were offered a job recently. Yes. Uh, who offered it to you? The government. Uh, who in the government? The president. What did he offer you? Uh, Deputy Minister of Community Development and Social Welfare. Do you have degrees? No, I don't have a degree. Why would he do that? Uh, because of the ministry that I'm involved in. Yes. Ten provinces? Yep. Yes. No. Zambia is divided into ten provinces. Uh, 253 communities? Mm -hmm. uh, and growing rapidly, very rapidly at this point? Yes, please. Yeah. And uh, you have seen lives and families transformed You've seen the breath of God breathed into these communities, and the outcomes have been witnessed by the government. Yes. And so the president asked you to serve on his cabinet. Yes. I understand you told him no. Yes, I said no. <laughs> Why would you do that? You know, I don't want to mix uh, the ministry and the politics. When you are involved in ministry and politics, government changes, but the ministry never changes. So maybe the next government comes, and so they will not have trust in you. And I believe that God called me to do the ministry and not to be involved in, the, in politics for now. So I turned down that position because I believe in that I only have to save God. Amen. You told me, Love More, that if I go into the villages representing the government, they won't trust me. Yes. But if I go there representing God? They will trust me. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so you said, I'll work with the government, but not for it. Not, yeah. Yeah. My heart belongs to God, mm -hmm. and he has given me this trust. Yes. That's a wonderful thing. I don't know if I would have the courage to do that, to say no to the president. But, uh, yeah. So, but you're actually executing on the things they want to deliver to the people, right? Yes, we are doing that. You're working with their health department? Department right now, yeah. Training in their clinics, mobilizing health workers yes. throughout the communities? Yes, in 10 provinces. You've been asked by the Department of Education to do something, what's that? Yeah, to work in schools. Across the country? Across the countries, and also to develop a curriculum with a children's uh, chair. All right. Yeah. And uh, how's that going, how many schools? Uh, we have about 200, about 257 schools. And that's a pilot project, right? Yes, it's a yeah. pilot project. <laughs> <laughs> this man has vision. <laughs> how did it all begin? Tell me how it began. Well, I was trained by two uh, female missionaries in 19 years ago. Yeah. That's when it all started. And then they abandoned you? They did. They <laughs> left. And so you had all the money you needed and everything at that point, right? No, there was no money. There was no money? No money. Just no. you? Yes, just you. With Che training? Yeah, with Che. How many, how many communities are you working in? Um, right now, we are working in 305 communities around Zambia. Oh, I said 253. I had it wrong. No, yes. but then. How many but then? then then it was yes. When they, when they left and you were alone, how many? There were only eight communities. Eight communities. Yeah. How did you get to them? How did we? By walking. <laughs> how far did you walk? <laughs> walk about 10 to 15 kilometers to go and uh, uh, train the people in the community. So you trained people? Yeah. And now you have uh, 
staff working in 10 provinces. Yes. I did a little research, mm -hmm. all right, just to find out. You have about 975 trainers. Yes. Uh, and 1,800 community health evangelists. Okay. Yeah. Visiting about 40,000 homes. Mm -hmm. How much of your people, how many of those people are paid? They are all volunteers. They're all volunteers. Yes, they are not paid. You're doing this without money? No. <laughs> I think that's the breath of God, my friend. <laughs> yes. So you, 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 have a, uh, you have an army of volunteers who say, I'm going to do this whether I get paid or not, mm -hmm. because God has called me to it. Yes. And it's bringing transformation sure. to your nation. Exactly. You're going to come back and report, right? Yes. All right. I, wa I want you to do that, brother. Sure. <laughs> Thank you, Lovemore. Thank you.